Chris Donnelly. I'm uh, the driver of the 43 Falcon EL sports sedan powered by the SB2 Chev. Um, we've got a Hollinger six-speed sequential gearbox and the Winters Quick Change independent diff. Um, this weekend at Queensland Raceway, really looking forward to it. It's my first race meeting since uh, November 21. So driver's probably going to be a little rusty. Um, we've made some fairly significant changes to the car since we've last raced it. We've added an ECU to it now to control the spark. Um, so we've got little nice things like shift cut, traction control. So looking forward to using that here. Um, I've got a great team of guys helping me out. Um, so uh, my father does, does a lot of work on it. Tony, Jeremy, um, Shane of course from Aston Air Conditioning that's a big supporter of mine. Um, one other thing this weekend, uh, I'm the president of the Queensland Sports Sedan Association, effectively under the Queensland Racing Drivers Association. Now. Um, we provided uh, some nibblies yesterday for the Sports Sedan guys. Really enjoyed getting together with all the, the uh, guys from Western Australia, and uh, you know, it's so good to have them over here as well. Long drive from, from over there. But uh, you know, it's so good to have a great field of 25 cars here this weekend. It's, um, Probably about 10 more than I expected to be honest, so I think we're at hopefully we can put on a good weekend of racing for them. So your car blew up on the internet a little while back on the sports sedan page. Can you maybe just explain to people that don't understand sports sedans that it's okay to put a different make motor in a, in a Ford, like put on the Holden, you know, Chev motor in there. Can you tell us a bit maybe why you did that? People probably want to know why you didn't stick with a Ford power plant. Is there any reason for that? that yeah, at the uh, at the time certainly it was availability of an engine. We sourced an engine through Steve Vigers uh, in Sydney, so the SP2 Chev. Um, at the time, just the availability of parts was plentiful, so you could literally get whatever you wanted to. Um, now it's getting a little bit hard to get stuff for it. The good thing is it's a proven power plant. We know, I don't want to go down the road, you know, I'm hitting 50 years old, I don't want to spend the next five years developing a car or a package on an engine that's not proven. So that's what we do in sports and hands. We try to keep things very simple. Um, you know, it's a carburetor Chev. It doesn't get any more simple than that. But down the track, we'll certainly try to budget depending. We'll look at injection, um, just to better control that fuel delivery. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the, the beauty of this category is you can just run whatever you want, whatever takes you fancy. And that's, uh, that's why we've done it. Awesome. Well, it's awesome to see the car out on track. I know a lot of people online are super excited about it. I know the sports sedan guys are excited about it. So thanks for having us in your sunny state and good luck this weekend. Cheers, mate. Really happy to be back at it.